Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. And today we have a very, very cool uh, Diecast here from 2004. It is the Mark Ma Mark Martin, um, I guess you should call it the Kraft Ford Taurus. It's got about a thousand different sponsors on this car, uh, which just makes it so iconic and uh, very, very cool. So this is a very popular alternate paint scheme for uh, Mark Martin. This is not a Bush car. This is indeed a Nextel Cup car. Uh, let me tell you, it's one of my favorite ones uh, from the year 2004. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. Very nostalgic, I might add. Uh, let's go over to the hood of this car. Get the Oscar Mayer decal there. You got the front end that's absolutely bashed in. <laughs> um, the good news about these cars, though, is that the clear coat and the paint is so thick that, look at that, it only, it only chipped the top decal. There is so much paint underneath these decals. Uh, these are very strong. The clear coat, I mean, think about it. This car was opened up in 04, 05, and look at it. It's still extremely shiny based on the clear coat they use. I mean, it's almost like an automotive-grade clear coat. That's how freaking strong this stuff is to still be this shiny after all the use these cars have had. Uh, good luck finding cars from 2010 that have half of the clear coat of this after being used. So you got Taurus right there. Uh, you get Moog Select, Clovite. Uh, looks like uh, Plasti Lock, uh, Wix, Air for, uh, Wix Air Filters, and uh, Sudoku. Got the number six right there. Let's go to the left side of this die cast. And this is where things get really cool because on the left side of the car, there's a different side sponsor compared to the right side of the car, uh, which is really cool. So you got Mark Martin right there on the signature. You got, um, let's say, Nabisco. Uh, life. I didn't know that was on there. Lifesavers. That's pretty cool. I think that's what it says. I don't know. Is that? I don't know. You get uh, Post, which is a cereal company, which, of course, they, they did a lot of promotions back in the early 2000s with the Post cereal boxes. Like, you could buy a, a box of Fruity Pebbles, and you would get, like, a, a little holographic card that had Kurt Busch on it, right? And then you could go online and redeem it for some game or something. It was just really, really cool. Uh, you get Pfizer, and you get the Ford decal there. You get the number six. Uh, you get the Miracle Whip logo there. You got some smaller contingencies on the side. Penzol. Uh, of course, you have uh, Sherwin-Williams. get Kraft. Uh, you get whatever that is there. Uh, you get Taco Bell. Maxwell House. I'm a big coffee fan, so I like seeing some coffee spots here. So I got Gatorade. That's pretty cool. Race uh, race car. Uh, I get Goodyear belts and hoses. I think uh, next cell cap series. Goodyear once again. 3M Holly. Uh, tr True Value Comp. Autometer Spicer. Uh, get uh, what is that? Mechanics for EA Sports. Mac Till. Uh, Mac Tools. Nomex and uh, Bowman. We got Alex Bowman on the car. That's great. Of course, you have your, um, these are rubber tires, I might add. Uh, this is a very, very cool piece. Uh, these are rubber tires, so they ain't going to roll as good, but they certainly give off a more authentic style to it. Go to the back end of this car here. <laughs> this is such a cool sponsorship to see on it. You have the Velveeta back uh, bumper decal. Makes you wonder what happened to all the, the food they use for the stock imaging for this car. You know, where, where's the spoonful of that mac and cheese? Where'd it go? Uh, who knows? Could be floating in a sewer. Uh, <laughs> you got the Kraft Velveeta decal there. Got the Ford uh, logo. Got the number six. The spoiler is chipped up, but if I really wanted to, I could fix it. You go to the right side of this die cast, and, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of... Of, of planters, so it's pretty cool to see them on the car. Uh, I prefer uh, pistachios or almonds personally, but I do like planters uh, peanuts as well. Uh, I got this decal, it's completely screwed up because, you know, like I said, this, this car was used. The car did not come this way. It, it, it was definitely used up, so uh, believe me, I've, I've seen enough Hot Wheels die casts to know that Hot Wheels, um, when they made a NASCAR die cast, they did a, a, a remarkable job. And for all you um, Team Caliber fans, I know a lot of y'all like the detail they do on the, uh, you know, maybe the interior or maybe uh, just the overall car itself. But check out the window bars. These are not like just flat decals. There's actually a, a edge to them, uh, which is incredible. Uh, the amount of detail they were able to get on the front and rear windshield here. I don't think enough people realize that these Hot Wheels die casts were just perfect. And especially when you look at the tooling and just the way the overall Ford looks, it doesn't look bulky. It looks fantastic. And I'll even drop a Larry McNugget. Now, you see the car here. You see how thick the metal is. The metal is actually a lot thinner than this. This thing has a pile of paint and clear coat on it. I've actually um, I've stripped one of these Ford Tauruses before. Believe me, they're much thinner compared. They're much more aligned to um, the 
the uh, what, what is this a racing champions? Not racing cha- champions. Um, winner circle or action uh, diecast mold. So they're much more like this. It's just there's a pile of clear coat and of course paint on it. So uh, take that for what you will. Go to the uh, the deck lid. You got craft singles once again. So uh, really really cool stuff here, guys. Uh, really, really cool looking paint scheme. Pretty much any Mark Martin fan from the 2000s probably has this die cast in their, in their collection, or at least had it at one point. I believe this paint scheme is actually on NASCAR Chase for the Cup. Could be mistaken there, but what a beautiful car. I mean, there's just so much color and variety to it. If you want to make a, like a paint scheme that has a crap load of different products on it, kind of like how Kroger does with like a thousand different products they want to advertise every year, why not make a paint scheme like this? Like incorporate everything on it, but do it in a way that actually works. This works. And I love it when they put the actual products on the die cast. You know, you actually have your, or your, or your paint scheme. You actually have the products on there. To me, that looks really, really cool. So what do y'all think about this car? Make sure to comment down below. And uh, feel free to uh, subscribe for more NASCAR diecast content. We've got plenty more uh, really cool classic die casts here on the channel. And uh, for all your new NASCAR Diecast shopping needs. Make sure to check out that promo code down below, guys. Use code Diecast Buffet at checkout at Circle B Diecast, and you'll save on shipping. Have a great one, everybody. Diecast Buffet, signing off.